This particular strategy, the intra incremental growth strategy, might um, be really might be best suited for a younger business, but there are more established businesses that are struggling with their um, ability to borrow that this also works for. This, the goal of this particular strategy is to work toward a healthier cash flow so that you can find incremental ways to grow. It doesn't happen overnight, but if you do the, if you if you exercise these strategies, it will help you in the long run and help you grow. First off, um, some of the some of the vehicles for for this type of growth include business credit cards. These are a great way to access um, borrowed capital for a younger business or even a business that has typically um, had some credit issues, mainly because most business credit cards, they look at your personal credit score to determine whether or not you're credit worthy to borrow. And, you know, if you have a good or great credit score, it's relatively easy to get a business credit card. It may not be a $250,000 small business loan, but it's, it's one of the more flexible ways to borrow so that when you need a little extra cash or you have an opportunity that uh, requires some extra cash to, to yield some increased ROI, a business credit card is a great approach. Most people, probably one of the most um, misunderstood um, types of credit is trade credit. Getting net 30 or net 60 day terms for business supplies, um, you know, op, um, is one of the best ways to take advantage of borrowed capital. Often there's no interest accrued unless you pay late. And it is probably the, the most friendly group of creditors that you're ever going to have. They're, they're, they're as invested in what you're doing as you are just about. And they want you to succeed almost as much as you do. So they're going to put um, systems in place to help you do that. And one of those is allowing you to uh, pay on invoice. If they report to the business credit bureaus, this as a side benefit could actually help build business credit. But uh, trade credit is probably the most underutilized form of business credit available to small business owners. The next type of um, financing we're going to talk about are microloans. If you can leverage a relatively small amount of cash, typically anywhere from $5,000 to $50,000, if you can leverage a small amount of cash into a big um, yield for your business, this is a great way to go. Often these loans are low cost or even no cost. And um, I'm, a, I'm aware, for example, of a small business owner that was an art, artisan cheese maker in Arkansas years ago who was making cheese out of the basement of his, of his church. And he started to build his business and he started to get enough customers that he needed to increase his capacity and he needed $5,000 to do it. He was able to get a, a no interest microloan for $5,000 to buy the cheese vat he needed to grow his capacity. And now years later, he is the largest independent cheese maker in Arkansas. So microloans are a great step to grow your business and particularly for younger businesses because these micro lenders are often nonprofits who, in addition to providing you financing, will help you with advice and guidance on how to make the most of, of the financing that you're getting.